กุยจอ Please be seated. Veuillez vous asseoir. On the court is now in session. Reprise de l'audience. We now hear the testimony of a witness to TC W809. Good afternoon, Mr. Witness. Bonjour, What is your name? Comment vous appelez-vous? Witness, my name is Peck Chim. Je m'appelle Peck Chim. President, thank you, Mr. Peck Chim. Do you remember? Your date of birth. Vous souvenez-vous de votre date de naissance? Answer. Réponse. I was born Je suis on the 29th le 29 of September 1941. 1941. Question. Question. Where were you born? Où êtes-vous né? Answer. Réponse. It was a Trapang Pre village, Trapang Tom commune. Commune de Trapang Tom. Question. Question. Where is your current address? Où vivez-vous actuellement? Answer. Réponse. I live at a village, a commune. J'habite dans le village de Pa Av. Trapang district, Udo Minchai province. Question. What are the names of your Question. father and Comment mother? Comment s'appelle votre père et votre mère? Answer. They Réponse. died a long time ago. Ils sont morts il y a longtemps. The interpreter cannot hear the father's name and the mother's name is unknown. Question. What is your wife's name Unan. and how many children do you have together? Question. Comment s'appelle votre femme et combien d'enfants avez-vous? Bing Ling is my wife's name, and we have five children, one of whom died in the battlefield. Amongst Nous them, quatre, there is one daughter. Un President, thank you. Question. Merci. The Crafty made an oral report this morning that to your best knowledge none of your father, mother, ascendants, children or descendants, brothers, sisters, in-laws or wife is admitted as a civil party in case in this case is this information correct? Answer yes, that is correct. Question. Have you taken an oath Question. before your appearance avant de in this chamber? Devant la chambre? Answer, yes, Réponse. I have. Oui. President, uh, thank you. Le président, merci. The chamber would like to inform you of your rights and obligations as a witness before this chamber. Mr. Petchum, as a witness in the proceedings before the chamber, you may refuse to respond to any question or to make any comment which may incriminate you. That is your right against self-incrimination. This means that you may refuse to provide your response or make any comment that could lead you to being prosecuted. And as a witness in the proceedings before the chamber, you must respond to any questions by the bench or relevant parties except via your response or comments to those questions question may incriminate you. De vous as the Chamber has just informed you of your right as a witness, you must tell the truth vous that you have known, vérité, heard, seen, remembered, experienced, observed directly in relation to an event or occurrence Relevance to the questions that the party or the bench, the bench or the party is posed to you. And Mr. Pechim, 
Had you given any statement uh, to the investigators or the office of the co-investigating judges? If so, how many times, si oui, where and when? Où et quand? Answer. Réponse. I have been interviewed several times at my home chez moi and I was uh, at this court once. Et j'ai également comparu devant cette chambre une fois. Question. And before you Question. appear before this chamber, have you, have you reviewed or read the statements of your interviews with the investigator of the Office of the Co-Investigating Judges in order to refresh your memory? Answer, yes, they were Réponse. read out to me. Oui, l'on m'en a donné lecture. President, thank you. And to your best uh, recollection, the uh, statements that were read out to you in full reflect or are consistent with the statements you provided to the investigators. And uh, yes, I uh, can make an uh, analysis oui. of those statements based on my recollection. Pu President ces Mr. Petchum, you have been assisted by a Le duty Président, council Petchum, as requested by you through a BISU, that is the Council Mung Sawan. Have you spoken to your duty council? Avez-vous parlé avec lui? Answer, I have uh, discussed some issues Réponse, with him, oui, but not everything. Mais je pas tout avec President, lui. thank you. Le Président, merci. Pursuant to Rule 91 base of the ECTC internal rules, the Chamber will give the floor to the co-prosecutors first to put the questions to this witness and the combined time for the prosecutors and elite co-lawyers is one full day plus one session. And the co-prosecutor, you may proceed. L'accusation à la parole. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, good afternoon, Merci, Mr. Witness. Bonjour, Monsieur le témoin. I want to start um, with just a few uh, short questions about um, some of your background. Uh, in uh, your last OCIJ interview, which is E319.1.18, at answers uh, 78 and 80, uh, you testified that you became a candidate member of the party uh, on the 1st of October 1970, uh, that you were a candidate member for six months and then became a full member on the 1st of April 1971. 1971. And you described how there was a ceremony uh, with the presence of an introducer. My question to you is, uh, who was it that introduced you to the party when you became a, a member? At that time, the event was held at the district. Cet événement a eu lieu au niveau du district. And Kom, a female, and another person, Jie, and Nieu. were there during the ceremony for the induction. 
the, the person you referred to as the, the female Com, was this the uh, same person who was the daughter of Tamak? Yes, réponse. that is uh, correct. Oui, She's bien the ça. wife of uh, C'était la femme de Mout. And she was the uh, chief of the district party. Elle était chef uh, du district. Du In district. that same interview at Answer 79, you gave the following testimony. Question. In your capacity as a full member, what authorities did you have? Answer. I cannot describe all. A party member implemented the line and the rules of the party. There were study sessions and meetings organized by the party because we were new members, so we had to try hard to study the party line and rules. Uh, end of quote. Uh, my question is, uh, who was it that instructed you at these study sessions uh, where you first learned the party lines and rules? The instructor was Saum, Réponse. the chief of sector. Saum, le chef du sector. He passed away. Il est décédé. In uh, what I believe was your very first interview with OCIJ, you also identified a person you called Teacher Un, um, who you described as one of the members of the front. Um, can you tell us uh, who Teacher Un was and what positions uh, he held uh, during the uh, Khmer Rouge regime? He did not become a party Réponse. member. Il pas he du was party. only an assistant. Il était seulement I... assistant. And he was an assistant in the district and never uh, district. became a party Il member. And member because of his background as a teacher, that is the petty bourgeoisie uh, class, he would not be allowed to become a party member. And it was up to the chief of the district party or the provincial party who could decide whether the person would be would become a, a party member. And of course, everybody strived hard uh, to uh, engage in uh, rice production. And of course, I would also di distribute the, the rice production through areas which Et lacked or where the uh, production was insufficient. Uh, in this uh, same OCIJ interview, E319.1.18, uh, in the early part, answers 3 through answer, answer 5, uh, you identified a brother of yours named Petch Now. Uh, I hope I've pronounced that right. Uh, Petch Now, who was a chairman of the Commune Front uh, in the 1970-75 to 75 time period. Um, I wanted to ask you, uh, just to confirm, um, how many brothers did you have uh, and how many of them uh, also held uh, positions in the Khmer Rouge? I had uh, six Réponse. brothers, six all frères. died. Ils sont tous morts. 
during the Khmer Rouge regime, uh, two of them had a, a, a positions, and so there were three altogether, including myself. Although my other brothers did not want me to si hold any position, si as it, it would be better for me to be a teacher. On m'avait dit qu'il valait mieux que ce serait mieux que d'être euh, enseignant. And uh, am I correct that the, the two brothers Question. of yours who held also had positions were uh, one Petch now and also your brother Kit? Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Uh, which which commune Question. was your brother Petch now uh, a chairman of? De quelle commune votre frère Petch now était-il chef? Réponse. Allow me to uh, confirm that he was chairman of uh, the Pentum commune front. In the 1970s, later on, he was removed and replaced by Dom. He contacted the, the commune for propaganda and for uh, logistical purposes in order to uh, gather forces. And he was inactive in this regard. For that reason, he was removed from the uh, commune front. And then he was sent to work at a youth's office at uh, Tnao Chiu. Uh, still talking about this Question. brother, um, uh, did he live through the Khmer Rouge regime? A-t-il vécu tout au long du régime des Khmer Rouges? You talk about uh, Peck No? Question, réponse, vous parlez de Peck No? When the Vietnamese Entered the Lorsque country, the people living in Takae province, province uh, fled to mountain areas in Kampo the province, and he was one of those who fled to the forest in Kampo the province. And subsequently, he died uh, as uh, he stepped on a mine, a landmine. And my other brother, Kut, also died uh, notre frère in Kit that area at the time uh, that the situation was zone. intensified by the Vietnamese attack. Alors que il y avait so de plus he plus fled into uh, the forest. Lui aussi a fui dans la forêt. And uh, he came out to sit under a tree. Il est sorti, venu and we sous un arbre. found him later on in the afternoon. In the afternoon, Et he already passed away, a, uh, sitting under the tree. Il était mort, so uh, sous only cet I arbre. survive. Je suis donc As seul for avoir my uh, three sisters, uh, they all died. So amongst the nine of us, only myself I survived. Je suis le seul and I de was the youngest child. I was a person who tell the truth. I never say anything untruthful, and I hate people who exploit other people. Je déteste les gens qui exploitent les and autres. that is the principle that I stand by. Voilà, I love the people, and I love the poor. I also love the intellectuals and the moms. Because I believe only the intellectuals could lead the country Je through prosperity. This is just a brief statement for you to understand about Je my character. Vous le dire pour que vous me mieux. 
I want you all to conclude this case as soon as possible. Because every day when you wake up, you only hear conflicts among the Cambodian people. And I don't want to hear that anymore. Cambodia used to be a powerful country, but it used itself to what it is now. Maybe we Il a été à wanted que to be actuellement. too good, and we defeated ourselves uh, in the process. Nous avons voulu faire trop bien and because et of nous, uh, nous that nature, it, it led to mistrust among the Cambodians. Nous avons President la interrupts. Dans la Mr. Pecham, please listen Le to the question Pechim, carefully plaît, and respond only what is asked of you and not to go beyond what is ne vous asked. Pas à des questions qui vous sont posées. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Witness. Um, uh, your Merci, other brother, Monsieur Kit, um, was Votre he frère, uh, also the chief of that same commune, Trapping Tom commune? commune uh, was Tom. Kit chief of that commune Kim for a time period? And if so, when? He was a commune chief. Réponse, il était chef de commune. That is the uh, commune chief of uh, Tropeang Trung. At Trapeang that time, Tropeang Trung commune was one, and now it has been uh, divided unique. into uh, two commune communes. And later on, he uh, came to work at the district, and that happened almost district. at the time of uh, liberation, cela a eu lieu à peu près au moment and, de and it could be in late 1976, fin if I recall it correctly, si je, si ma est bonne. because uh, before 1976, he was still at the Trapeang Thom Commune, and only uh, by late 1976 or early 77, he went to the district level. When was it that Trapeang Thom was split into two communes? Do you remember? Was it before uh, liberation on 17 April 1975, or was it after? It happened after. Réponse, cela a eu lieu après. But I uh, cannot uh, uh, recall the exact uh, months or year. Je However, it was probably in late 1976. I want to now uh, spend uh, a little time uh, covering with you um, uh, helping us Allez, just to establish uh, who were the various district leaders of Tramcock District uh, during the regime uh, and uh, who held other key positions. Uh, and I'm going to start with um, people, the people who were district chief in Tramcock uh, during the uh, regime period. Um, you and others have identified uh, the first secretary of Tramcock District as Ye Tom, uh, Tomok's daughter, who we, we mentioned earlier. Um, you've also testified that you were on the district committee with Ye Kom, uh, along with a person named Kiev. What I wanted to clarify with you is uh, what was your position and what was Kiev's position on the district committee uh, during the time that Ye Kom was district chief? When Kom came to work uh, in that area, 
Lorsque Com est venu I did not have any position within the committee. I was only asked to do uh, things, including uh, collecting harvest for the uh, army, and it lasted for two years. Et je l'ai fait pendant deux ans. Then I became a member of the district uh, Ensuite, committee in charge of uh, economics, logistics and transportation. De de transport. And Com was the chairperson Com of the party. Était la présidente du parti. And Kiu was Kiu the deputy. Était l'adjoint. As for the uh, member in charge of the military affairs, was Nieu. Nieu. As the uh, deputy uh, secretary under Ye Kom, uh, what were Takiv's responsibilities? Takiv, il était placé sous la direction de Kom. Quelles étaient ses responsabilités? He was in charge of uh, providing education to the people within the district. And she, he would work together with Com wherever he was. Uh, Com was there. Là où il allait, Com était également présente. And. Uh, as the member of the Question. district committee, uh, and I'm uh, focusing now on the time period uh, starting and after uh, 17 April 1975, uh, as the member of the district committee, did you regularly attend uh, district level meetings? Yes. Réponse oui. How often did uh, Ye Kom uh, hold Question. meetings with uh, commune chiefs and the other district cadres? The meetings were held regularly, and sometimes the meetings were convened as a matter of urgency. Parfois, the réunions étaient organisées d'urgence. And they would uh, they would take turn to convene their meetings within various uh, communes. For example, uh, one would go to convene meetings for two uh, communes, while another commune, member of the committee go to another to the other two communes. So, Com would uh, convene meetings for two communes, while at the same time, Ki will convene meetings for other two uh, communes. And at that time, uh, I was uh, rather uh, uh, strong physically, moi, and I was busy in uh, working at the district. And uh, that house, they, uh, they organized amongst themselves in convening uh, meetings voilà within the district. And as I said, the meetings Comme were convened uh, regularly or as a matter of uh, urgency. And if Com called for a meeting, si everyone would attend uh, the meeting. However, not every time all members of the districts would attend Mais the meetings uh, due to other uh, matters. For instance, sometimes I miss the district meetings exemple, as I 
was busy at the dam, and sometimes he would go to the dam website to convene a meeting there. As for Nier, he spent time at the uh, battlefield, and sometimes he returned for the meetings. Can you tell us, um, in 1975 and 1976, uh, where was the district office located? The, the location of Réponse. the Tramco district uh, varied, and usually it was held at a villager's house, for example, at Palmyre, uh, and later on during a dry Vinjois, season, it was at Prey Do. And then to Krabai Prey at the house of the uh, elder uh, female. And later on, it was moved to Tropean Tmor, which was adjacent Ensuite, to Krabai Prey area. We've heard testimony from a number of people that the, there was a, a district office at some point in time in Ang Roka. Um, can you tell us uh, whether uh, at some point in time the district office uh, was moved to Anroka, and if so, when was that? Answer. Le bureau de commerce uh, était situé the trade office à Angroka, was situated at Angroka. Où il y avait des échanges. Enfin, il n'y avait pas d'échanges uh, économiques. There was no economic exchange. Donc, no uh, trade. Après, euh, il a été déménagé. So it was subsequently relocated. Au bout de quelques mois, euh, that office euh, on faisait un déménagement, mais le, was not après, euh, place, donc, well established. Euh, so after euh, some months, it was moved. Déménagé, euh, déplacé à Angroka. To Angroka. Les gens de, Du commerce n'était pas là en permanence. Since voilà. those who engage in trade were not there permanently. Let me let me try uh, this uh, another way. Um, First, uh, the period that you were a member of the district committee, uh, and in particular from 17 April 1975 uh, up to the period where you became uh, acting district chief in mid-1976, um, where was it that you worked during that period? Did you have an office? And if so, where was it? Réponse. Answer. On a pris une maison, uh, la maison d'une dame. The house faire, uh, of bureau. a certain lady was si taken and used as an office. I do not know whether that house still exists today. Et nous devions dormir aux endroits fixés et de temps en temps, to rentrer, at a je rentrais au bureau et après, from time to time, repartir, um, I to the office and then left again pour uh, faire la travail de propagande, uh, to do 
Uh, Propaganda work. Donc en fait, uh, pour résumer, je travaillais au front summary, avec Niev. I worked on the front with voilà, Niev. That is all. But I am on. And there was someone working permanently in the office. Et quand, uh, les, arrivaient, and uh, when letters were delivered, des, uh, lettres, someone et brought the letters uh, to us. Au bureau. We never worked et permanently in the office. Très rare, uh, au bureau. We rarely went to the office. Um, let me ask you the same uh, question. Uh, during the uh, six months or so that you were a uh, district chief, um, was the same location used as the district office, or did you have a different place uh, that was your office when you were chief of Tramcock District? Réponse. Euh, je, vous ne me comprenez pas. Je vous ai dit qu'il n'y avait pas de bureau fixe. Vous ne comprenez pas ce que j'ai dit. J'ai dit que je me déplaçais tout le temps. J'ai toujours été au bureau à Trampéang. Il était toujours un office à Trampéang. Reste mm. encore un bureau there à was côté an du office pont at Angroka. où nous de, That nous office is still there des, near the bridge. des marchandises, des objets afin de les distribuer And aux habitants. We used that office as a kind of warehouse from which we transported goods to distribute them to the people. Mais il n'était pas, pas possible à l'époque de euh, rester, de During se comporter comme un un homme important sous ce ré le régime Khmer Rouge, il fallait travailler as an comme n'importe qui under the Khmer euh, Rouge. sur le terrain afin you de had savoir to work qui a just fait like quoi et sinon on n'avait rien, rien à manger, Otherwise, Donc, on cultivait de, you de riz, have anything euh, to eat. Euh, des grew, patates, s'il n'y avait pas de riz à manger, on avait des patates à manger. There wasn't rice. So we had at least sweet potato to eat. Voilà, c'est tout. So, that's all. Uh, and just so we're clear, so even during the time period when you were district chief, uh, there was no single office. Um, you still moved from office to office uh, during during the time you served as Tramcock District Chief. Is that correct? Réponse. À l'époque, j'étais le plus souvent à Angroka que I was tout autre endroit. J'étais à Angroka la plupart du temps comparé à d'autres places. Vous avez mentionné une maison d'une femme qui a été prise et utilisée comme un office. Où était-ce que cette maison La maison d'une dame qui était utilisée en tant que bureau. Où se trouvait cette maison Réponse. C'est une maison euh, qui était située Answer. à l'intérieur du marché même. That house was located within the premises of the market itself. And you're talking about the Ang Roka market, is that right? L'accusation, vous parlez du marché d'Ang Roka, c'est exact? Réponse. Answer. Oui, c'est bien le marché Ang Roka. Indeed, it was the Angroka market. Là, euh, on avait 
pris euh, une maison en dans there, les murs euh, avait déjà été cassé donc on, a brick house euh, whose walls had already been propriétaire de cette maison est parti à l'ouest de la used. route et the owner of that house maison. lived to the western side of the road voilà, and the house tard, was taken on elle a vu euh, à l'ouest et là-bas c'était une maison so en dur aussi. Lived to the west in another brick house. And just to uh, um, wrap up this, you said that there was always someone permanently at one office uh, so that they could receive letters and communications. Uh, was it the Ang Roca office um, that served that function, where there was always someone uh, there for purposes of receiving communications? Réponse. Answer. Uh, en Roca, il y avait des messagers, des There were messengers des chargés de euh, d'économie, who were in charge of economic matters. Euh, des lettres ailleurs. They were the ones um, who Conveyed uh, letters to other ces places. lettres là où j'étais. Voilà. Et quand euh, j'étais informé, je that venais were to me euh, where I was. au bureau. Voilà, c'était tout so simplement ça. So they came ça. to the office and would inform me of what was happening. That is all. We've heard uh, um, also Question. in the testimony so far uh, about a, a person or a number of people. Uh, who held the title uh, head of the district office or chief of the dist district office, um, a separate position from secretary of the district. Um, one of the people who's been identified as having that position uh, is someone that you've discussed, uh, a man named Dorn. Um, was Dorn uh, the, the chief of the uh, Tramcock District Office du um, du during the time Tramcock that you were district chief. Vous étiez chef du district. Réponse, c'était Don, le chef uh, Answer. du bureau de district. Don was the chief of the district office. And did Don Dorn work permanently at the office in Angroka, or did he also have different places where he worked? La plupart du temps, il travaillait là-bas, mais quand il y avait des choses à régler, il se déplaçait pour aller voir des gens. Il n'était pas là pour transporter le bureau pour aller voir des gens. So, he could not move the office with him wherever he went to see people. Could you explain for the court? Um, what uh, the responsibilities were of Dorn as the chief of the district office uh, and how those responsibilities differed from yours as district chief or as district secretary. La réponse. Les chefs de district n'avaient aucun pouvoir, the aucun droit. Chiefs had no des gens influence. They had no powers. qui devaient recevoir des instructions de, du district. 
et qui devait faire uh, uh, le tour en fonction de l'instruction. And they had to do everything regarding de de what was required of them um, in the instructions. And when they had to convene uh, meetings of people, or had, when they had to harvest, harvest the crops, or uh, un obtain uh, seeds, they had to do uh, that as well. So their work was uh, to du, du provide some assistance. Faire sans, uh, the district chiefs could do nothing without the assistance. <coughs> do, you rem do you remember who it was that was Question. the uh, chief of the district office Vous before Dorn? Réponse. Answer. Je ne m'en rappelle pas. I do not recall. Um, il y avait Don. There was Don. P. P. Luna. Cela date d'il y a très longtemps, donc je ne peux pas me rappeler that de a very long time ago, les anciens chefs de district. And I do not remember all those former district chiefs. Let me ask you about one of the people you just mentioned, P. Um, we've heard um, some accounts of a person named P. Um, described as someone who had a handicap or some problem in his leg and walking. Uh, was this the P, the same P that you just referred to, who was chief of district office at some point? P, uh, there was only one person by the name P. Uh, de, du service médical. He was in charge of medical services. Et uh, Don était le chef and the other, Don, was the office head. And the person named P, who you're talking about, uh, did he have some handicap, some Problem in his leg. No why. Réponse: Oui, c'est bien lui. Answer: Yes, that is indeed the person. Handicapé de jambes, il ne pouvait rien faire. Donc son travail consistait à distribuer des médicaments dans les villages, des communes, et soigner des malades. And the only work he could do was to go into the villages in the commune and take care of the sick. Do you remember whether uh, P? Uh, at any point during the regime, uh, had any other functions or positions uh, other than being in charge of medical services? Il était chargé de distribution de médicaments ou des services médicaux, mais après mon in, départ, je ne sais pas, when I was there, je ne savais pas à quel médicaments et autres supplies, a, medical supplies, but uh, after I left, I didn't know the position he was assigned. But during Donc, uh, my term of office, uh, he je ne pas distributed medicines to children. But after I left, I was not able to find out where he was transferred. 
Um, my last question about regarding P uh, for the moment. Um, do you know whether he continued to work in Tramcock District uh, through the entire regime period, that is from April 1975 through till January 1979? Answer. Toujours. He always walked there. Depuis le 17 avril. As of the 17th of April. Date où tout le pays a été libéré, mais en 1976, quand j'ai quitté mon poste, il était toujours dans et toujours. Up to 1976, when I left my position, Don was always there. And one one last question on the uh, district office. Um, uh, you've testified that when you went to Camp on Cham, uh, that Dorn went with you. Uh, do you know uh, who became the chief, uh, the new chief of the district office at that time? Answer. Don left after me. When I left, I left alone, and Don uh, was still there. Mois, uh, tard, je suis Approximately six months later, pour, uh, I returned to the district to see Don him, a à venir avec and moi, that was when Don requested to go with me, and I asked him to think carefully about uh, it before taking the decision. Et, um, Kurt did not allow him to leave with me, but later on he convinced him to let him go, and he left to go and work at the cotton plantation, and that is where he died. That is all. Uh, Mr. President, I'm looking at the clock. Um, I understood we were going to break uh, 10 minutes early today to um, uh, have uh, hear submissions from us on a pending motion. Um, I'm going to change subjects now, so I'm uh, asking whether, whether this is the appropriate time to break from the witness so that we can uh, have 10 minutes of submissions that we requested. Afin d'entendre les conclusions que qu'il faut présenter. Bah, Okun. Bah, on se remercie. Okun. Mr. President. Je me la chambre vous remercie. Thank you. Merci. Votre déposition dans la chambre n'est pas encore terminée. Vous devez rester à disposition de la chambre. Thank you. For your testimony, you are not done with your testimony. You are requested to return tomorrow at 9 a.m. to complete your testimony. May officials take the necessary measures to return the witness to his home. Maître l'avocat de permanence, vous pouvez disposer également et revenir demain pour l'assister. Please, you may now leave and return tomorrow to continue to assist witness Pekchim. Partie de la tournée, on y met le.
The chamber will now hear the oral submissions l'accusation à la requête de la de Nunci in response to the motion by the Nunci defense team. Les, uh, les, uh, to request the chamber to allow additional witnesses to testify regarding Clamcock Cooperative and Plantachan Security Center document E3 346. L'accusation, vous avez la parole. Deputy Prosecutor, you have the floor. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Um, I, I will be uh, as brief as I can. Um, let me just make a, a couple of, of points. Um, we obviously have some concerns about what seems to be a practice of last-minute large requests for additional witnesses. Um, at the same time, um, uh, in our view, uh, this needs to be decided on the merits, uh, not on the procedure. Um, and in that regard, um, there are two witnesses uh, that they have proposed uh, who, in our view, um, on the face, uh, appear to have exculpatory information from the defense's perspective. Um, in our view, uh, the chamber should call those two witnesses. Uh, and the witnesses I'm referring to, um, and I'm mindful that uh, I, I won't identify them by name here. I think only a few of them have pseudonyms. Um, but the first one is the witness uh, who is the first uh, witness identified in their motion as relevant to the uh, treatment of law and health soldiers. Uh, this is a witness whose statement um, Mr. Cope uh, uh, uses with almost every uh, uh, witness who's testified here. Um, I think the evidence from this witness um, is suspect, but uh, it is something the defense is relying on, uh, and I believe that um, we should hear this witness. Uh, it would not take very long, in my view. This is not a witness who worked in Tramcock. He was a cadre from another part of the southwest zone, uh, so I think it would be a fairly quick witness. Uh, the other one who, in our view, um, uh, has exculpatory information is one of the forced uh, marriage witnesses they've requested. Um, this is, um, there are two that they requested relating uh, to forced marriage. Uh, the second one is a cadre, uh, and it is a person who uh, was directly identified by a uh, witness who testified here as a perpetrator um, who was responsible for forced marriage in her commune. Um, this witness has um, denied some of that. Um, but also Une made some admissions. Uh, the defense wished to hear uh, a witness who's been uh, identified as a perpetrator and who has denied some of that. And again, I think this would be an appropriate witness uh, for the chamber to call. Uh, for the others, um, I think it is more uh, a matter of your discretion as to whether you think they would assist, assist you in um, reaching the truth. Um, I'll make some quick comments in that regard. Um, uh, with respect to the others, um, we see this argument that the evidence has been very confusing so far, so we need to hear a lot more witnesses. I, I think that is a, a bit of a disingenuous argument from the defense. Um, I would think the defense would be rather happy if the evidence was that confusing. Um, the reality is that the evidence has been very consistent. Uh, the cadres and the victims agree on almost all the key points, uh, that almost everyone detained at Krang Kachan was killed and not released, that the people killed there include children, 
ont été exécutés uh, là-bas comprennent uh, notamment des enfants, que des gens ont été battus, étouffés afin de se faire exécuter. Il y a des gens qui ont été battus, étouffés afin de se faire exécuter. Donc, pour la défense, je suggère qu'il faut entendre plus de gens parce que les preuves sont très confuses. Mais la défense suggère que les preuves sont très confuses. Mais la défense suggère que les preuves sont très confuses. Mais la défense suggère que les preuves sont très confuses. Je pense que cette affaire est une confirmation de ce que vous avez dit. Je vais juste faire une petite observation. They propose a number of additional prisoners. Two of them are relatives of one of the witnesses who has testified. I don't think it is necessary to hear them, in my view. And if you were going to hear additional prisoners, I think the two female medical cadres would be better. Let me just say why that is. Um, the defense have made much about a dispute that has arisen about whether um, one of these people was the victim of sexual violence. And I would just remind everyone that while this is a relevant issue, the accused are not charged here with that rape. Uh, we've seen them spend a lot of time questioning witnesses on this, but they're not charged with the rape. They are charged with, with murder. So I think in deciding whether we will hear witnesses, that's something you should take into account. Uh, the medical uh, cadres, women who they've identified, they may well, in my view, be, be useful to you. I think it's your discretion as to whether, whether to call them. Uh, the additional guards, um, two of them, we don't even know if they're alive. They're just people whose names have come up. One of them is someone who gave an interview. He's part of the same unit that I think we've heard already heard two or three witnesses. Uh, I'm not sure that he would add very much. Um, there's two other cadres. Uh, one of them, 2TCW833, is, is someone who we've proposed as a witness. And so we certainly agree with the defense that this person should be heard. In our view, though, um, uh, he's best heard in the purges section of this case. Uh, one of the principal reasons we proposed this witness was because in addition to having been a messenger in Tramcock, he later worked for Vorn Vett and was arrested at the same time as Vorn Vett. Um, that was a principal reason we proposed this witness, though at the time um, we did our witness list, we were not yet authorized to uh, disclose this information because it came um, from, from one of his subsequent interviews. So in our view, you should hear this person, but hear him as part of the purges section. Um, the husband uh, that they want to call on forced marriage, in my view, is not necessary. Um, uh, I think the testimony of that witness was clear. They've requested um, to call uh, the perpetrator that um, she identified, which I think you should do. I do not think anything valuable will be gained by calling, calling her husband. Uh, and lastly, they've requested additional witnesses on documents. Um, I do not um, I think that that is a high priority. Um, we already had hearings uh, in the first trial on the authenticity of these documents. Uh, if you look at what these witnesses have to say, they have very little uh, to add si about that. We've heard a lot of evidence so far ajouter. here uh, that corroborates the authenticity of these documents. Um, so uh, I, I would not uh, put those people high on the list. Um, so those are our submissions uh, for your honors uh, relating to the witnesses that have been requested. President, thank you. And accuse the Khan's defense. Do you wish to make any observation in regards to the oral submission by Nunchi's defense? If so, do you have the floor? Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. President. Je suis un peu effaré d'entendre. I am a bit flabbergasted. Monsieur le Procureur, critiquer la défense pour avoir sollicité une quinzaine de témoins. Requested 
quand on est de l'autre côté de la barre et qu'on a déposé when, uh, des dizaines et des dizaines de classeurs remplis have, uh, de des positions écrites à la dernière minute, on reste calme, à mon avis, et à sa place. Je pense que votre chambre pourrait entendre cette quinzaine de témoins, nous les soutenons, nous soutenons cette demande de Nunchea à 100%, et je pense que nous pourrons aller d'autant plus vite que votre chambre veillera à ce que As les the interrogatoires, will notamment make sure that, uh, ceux euh, de l'accusation et des parties civiles, euh, s'en tiennent au champ du procès. J'en veux pour exemple ce matin, exemple, morning, les procureurs ont pu interroger des témoins sur Angroca, sur les Khmer Krom, sur le deuxième déplacement de la population, tous sujets qui sont hors champ de ce procès, et nous aurions pu gagner du temps en évitant que ces thèmes soient abordés inutilement. Voilà nos remarques, Monsieur le Président, donc nous soutenons cette demande. Yes, we do support uh, the Nunchia defense team's uh, request. President, thank you. And uh, Nunchia defense, do you wish to respond to the uh, reply or the observation by the prosecution? No, Mr. President, we maintain our request. No, Mr. President, we have been clear in our request. President, thank you for all the Merci. observations Merci and submissions and comments in response to the submission or request by the Defense Council for Nunchi for the Chamber to hear additional witnesses in relation to the Trump Court Security Center through document. E346. The chamber will deliberate on this issue and make a ruling in due course. We will adjourn the proceedings now and resume tomorrow, commencing from 9 o'clock in the morning. And tomorrow, the chamber will continue to hear the testimony of witness Pichim. This is for the concerned parties and for the public. Security personnel join Saturday to take the two accused back to the detention facility and have them return to attend the proceedings tomorrow. Before 9 o'clock, the court is now adjourned.